Welcome back guys to another episode of Next Gen VR. Today I'll be talking about Cyberpunk 2077, an open scale VR world similar to GTA 5, but with hyper realistic graphics, ray tracing and DLSS. This game looks absolutely incredible on a flat monitor and it performs really well. So how would it look like in VR and how do you play in VR? So this guide will tell you guys how to get the best experience out of your HP Reverb G2 and Pimax 8KX. So first to get started, you will need a software called Vorpex. This allows you to play flat games in VR. So you go to buy it, and then once you buy it, you'll receive a request code, you email that, and you should get a response very quickly with your license key, and then you'll go on to the next step. So once you have it installed, you will see your Vorpex configuration. Make sure that you select Steam VR uh, from the drop-down menu. And here for hand controller, you can select Auto. But if you're using the HP Reverb G2, you might want to select Windows MR. Again, you won't need VR controllers for this game. Then go to Local Profiles and select the Cyberpunk profile, and then you just hit Apply. Once you have done that, you just select Cyberpunk and hit the play button, and then it will launch Steam VR automatically. Now, if it doesn't show up inside your headset, that means what you'll need to do is exit the game and then just press play again while Steam VR is running in the background. Now, the this is a bug, and the reason why you don't want to launch Steam VR first and then play the game is that the Vorpex might not hook correctly that way. So just select Cyberpunk, press play, then exit the game and then press play again and it should load just fine inside your VR headset. So once you're inside the game, you can change different graphic settings and field of view will be set to 100 by default. If you scroll down, you can see features like ray tracing, DLSS, which I have set to ultra performance, but you can switch between auto, quality, balanced, etc. And then in video settings, the higher the resolution, the better picture quality. So by default, I have a 1440p monitor, just 2560 times 1440. So in order to be able to use higher resolutions like 3840 times 2160 or, or even higher than that, you need to enable something called NVIDIA DSR. So I will show you guys uh, how to do that. So to open NVIDIA control panel, you can right click on your desktop and select it, or you can search for it in the search box. Then in NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, scroll down to DSR factors. By default, it'll be off. And then for, uh, f for getting a 1440p monitor to look like it's 4K, you would check 2.25 times native resolution, but you can also check other resolution settings like three times or four times in order to uh, uh, be able to change the different options in the, in the settings of the game. Then DSR smoothness is basically how sharp versus how smooth do you want the image. So higher smoothness will, will make it smoother but blurrier, whereas lower smoothness will make it sharper but can introduce jagginess. So it's up to you, the sweet spot. By default, it's 33%, but some people prefer 20%, so you can experiment with this. Um, so yeah, once you do that, you'll hit apply and you'll save that. And that'll unlock the higher resolutions inside the game. So first let's talk about the best settings to for your Pimax 8KX. So you can choose between large, normal, and small FOV mode, but the smaller the field of view, the better the image quality is going to look like, especially when it's zoomed in in order to get it to cover your full FOV. So I like to use normal or small, preferably, but even small is still a bigger FOV than the Reverb G2, for example. Render quality, you'll leave to one. Fixed foveated rendering, either balanced or aggressive, but I'm not sure if it makes a difference. Parallel projections, you will need to leave enabled, otherwise it won't look right. You can turn on smart smoothing to try to keep it smooth. Hit an area mask, leave enabled. And then everything else is good, so you'll just hit apply, and then you're good to go for that. So. Next, what you'll want to do is unlock higher FOV modes. So uh, the default, the maximum FOV is 100. And this means that when you zoom in the picture to get it to the screen to cover your full field of view, it'll be a bit uh, less image quality. So 
you can or a wrong world scale so the higher the field of view the better uh, the world scale will look like when it's zoomed in so to increase above 100 degree limit you'll need to go to the directory of your steam library where cyberpunk is installed find the folder go to r6 config settings platform pc and then open options.json with notepad inside the notepad can do control f and search for field of view once you find this particular line scroll down and under max value change it from 100 to any value you like now, i set to 180 but you can choose whatever you like so once you do that save it and then close it and then you can start the game so once you're in the game you'll press space to continue and right now I can see it inside the Pimax 8KX. So you can move your mouse around, you can look around, and it'll track where your head is moving. So once you're in here, you'll press the delete key in order to open up your uh, Vorpex menu. Now you probably can't see this menu inside um, my streaming, so I'll just explain to you guys what settings you need to change. So first off, what I want to tell you guys is under settings in video, what you can do is you can experiment with a balancing act between performance and resolution. What I mean by that is, let's say you set it to 3840 times 2160, which makes the picture quality look almost as good as viewing it on a flat 1440p monitor. So I'm on small FOV mode right now and I have this set. Now, field of view by default is 100. And by default, the zoom of the picture for uh, Vorpex is about 0 0.67, 0 0.62. And this makes it look like you're looking at a wide uh, movie theater like screen that follows you, but you can see it as a rectangular shape. It's not covering your full FOV, which is why there's a feature called zoom mode. So let's say you select this resolution. Uh, the lower resolution, the better performance. So then if I do that, I can set DLSS to auto, which is going to make the picture quality look better. And then ray tracing, you can experiment with ultra or medium. So let's just, I'm just going to try this out for now and then I'll tell you guys what it feels like. So I'll hit continue. We'll just wait for this loading screen. And then I'll press space to continue. Okay, let's get that. Okay, so what I see right now, I'm getting 35 FPS performance, it feels jittery. But I can look around and it's like I'm looking at a screen. Now to improve performance, I just go back to settings and I change the LSS from auto to performance. And then I go back and then performance hasn't really improved yet in this setting. So then I go back and I change it to ultra performance. And then when I do that for DLSS, it's now runs much smoother but the picture quality doesn't look as good in ultra performance as it does in the other mode. So now what we can do is we go, let's say we um, have, let's say we want to get the FOV as close to our eyes as possible. So when you press delete key to open Vorpex, you go to image settings and you change the image zoom. So from 0.67, I can change it to let's say 0.915, whatever you like. So now it looks much bigger for me, but the world scale is not right. And so what I do next is I go settings. And remember when I unlock the FOV to up to 180, I find about 120 to 130 field of view gives me the best um, viewing. You don't wanna set it too high because then what happens is um, it starts, you see more artifacts are popping up and uh, its image quality goes down. So it's really a balancing act between FOV and zoom. If you are okay with not having it cover your entire FOV, you can reduce the zoom and reducing the zoom will give you a sharper looking image quality. So that's quite important. So now let's look at this and try to get a better performance. So one thing you can do is you can turn off ray tracing for better performance. Now I get smooth 75, but then it doesn't look as good as with ray tracing on. So it's it's up to you, but um, it looks pretty nice like this. And I can look around and it's like I'm actually there. 
If I enter a car though, then it looks a little bit too big. So when you're when you're talking to a player while seated or driving a car, it kind of looks like the scale is might be too big. But um, yeah, so now let's do an experiment with resolution. So right now that was 30, 40, 20. Let's try four, one higher than that. Um, and then hit apply. And then let's just double check the graphics. So DLSS ultra performance ray tracing off. Now I can tell you guys resolution looks much better, sharper. The world feels more real. But the performance has gone down. So again, it's a balancing act. And um, yeah, so I, I think in smaller potato FOV mode, you're going to get the best experience between image quality and stuff. So by default field of view at 100, the zoom is set to optimize it. So when you increase field of view, you have to update the zoom accordingly to match your headset. Otherwise, what you'll see is an FOV that's too wide and then turning your head won't feel right. So to balance the act between that. So next, what I wanna talk about is when you're in the menu, you will see that the menu is far outside your peripheral vision. So what you'll need to do is change game HUD scale. By default, the game HUD is quite big. So you can reduce it to the lowest setting so that it starts to appear. And you can also change the horizontal width of the menu. So once you do that to your liking, you'll be able to see menus much more easily. And then um, in direct VR settings for Vorpex, make sure change game resolution is off. Otherwise, it'll automatically switch your resolution to 1080p every time you start the game. Also, every time you start the game, your FOV will be reset to 100, so you'll need to change it back to 120 or 130 or wh whatever you had it set before. So that's pretty much it. Uh, other than that, um, in full VR mode, click more VR settings, and I recommend switching background from ambience to none. Ambience means uh, the background outside the screen is gray, but I find none, which is black, looks better. Uh, gives you better image quality because of the contrast. So um, it's up to you. But yeah, uh, the world looks absolutely gorgeous, and um, it definitely depends on... I have an RTX 3090, so it definitely depends on which graphics card you have. But uh, I would... I find this game looks really incredible on a flat monitor, so um, it would be fun to play either way. All right, so now let's talk about the best settings for HP Reverb G2. So by default, let's press the delete key and see. Um, so right now I have image zoom set to 0.74. In settings, I have it's set to one above 4K, so this value. And then I'll set DLSS to auto to get a better image quality and leave ray tracing on to set to medium. Now keep in mind the fact that I'm recording this on OBS Studio is going to affect the overall performance. So, and this is on an RTX 3090, so keep that in mind. Then um, field of view, I'm going to set to 120. I find 120 is the sweet spot for the Reverb G2. So now let's see how it looks. I'll just continue from that menu. Okay, so I have to tell you guys that um, it looks really, really good on this headset, on the Reverb G2. A world scale is just right, and I have the full FOV when zoom is set to 0.74. By default, when it was, a, the, by default, uh, FOV mode, you will see mostly black border on the top and bottom. So setting it to about 0.74 zoom, and then um, 120 FOV is just right in terms of world scale. If I switch it to a 100, um, it, looks, it looks a bit too big in the world scale, like it's not quite realistic scale. So I find 120 with zoomed in just enough to eliminate the borders is perfect. Now, usually I get a smooth performance in this mode, so it's probably the fact that I'm recording on OBS Studio. So 
I find that the picture quality looks way better on this headset than the Pimax 8KX and performance is pretty good too. So I would actually prefer to play in VR with uh, the Reverb G2 for, for this game, Cyberpunk. So that's pretty, pretty nice. And so this game is pretty much like GTA. You can switch camera view in the car. Ray tracing looks absolutely gorgeous, even on medium. And so the graphics look incredible on this headset. Now I'm gonna tell you guys what it looks like in performance and ultra performance if it's that much worse. So let's try, let's try performance and see. But keep in mind it says OBS Studio recordings affecting the frame rate. Uh, it's, the image quality is still decent. Let's try ultra performance. Okay, in ultra performance, um, it's still decent, but then you lose some detail from far away. So either performance or auto. Um, balanced won't perform as good. Quality focuses on the best picture quality. So let's say that I wanted to increase DLSS and decrease resolution. So let's try a lower resolution, but better DLSS. So 3840 times 2160. And then with DLSS Auto, let's see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna look around. It's a little bit jittery, that's why it's kind of hard to focus. But um, it looks pretty nice, but not as good as the higher resolutions. So now let's try DLSS on quality. And um, now I say DLSS quality with 4K resolution is pretty much as good as DLSS auto and higher resolution here. So you can experiment to find the balance for you. And um, you can also lower these settings from high to medium to see if that helps. So uh, it's up to you. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, definitely playable in VR on the Reverb G2 and the Pimax 8KX. Now let's try ray tracing turned off. It's, uh, it's better. Uh, still looks good even without ray tracing. So definitely feels like I'm actually in this world. And I have my full FOV, I can look around. Let's try changing image zoom. Um, if I really, the more I increase image zoom, the lower the image quality because you're zoomed in. So the lower the image zoom, the less FOV you'll get, but the better picture quality. So it's up to you. But yeah, wow, it looks incredible on the Reverb G2. It looks like better than Half-Life Alex graphics, I would say. So once you get the performance just right, it looks really good. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as you saw, um, the graphics look really nice, but the Reverb G2 beats uh, the 8KX in this particular game in VR mode. And so it also seems to perform a bit better as well. So I'd recommend this more on the G2. So um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.